Hi guys, welcome along to part two of our Regency renovation double bill. In this episode, we're going to be showing you exactly how we uncovered the lovely stones in the entrance hallway. We're going to be showing you Phil's architrave around the front door. We're also going to show you some progress in the morning room, including the skirting being fitted, the picture rails going on, the ceiling rows being fitted, and also some decorating. And last but not least, we're going to show you the stained glass windows being fabricated and installed. So stay tuned and enjoy the show. So we're in the hallway of the property and we've got some lino down. What we want to do is lift this up because we are hoping, well, we're pretty sure, we're not just hoping, that underneath are these stones. So these are the traditional, original stones that were in there. And we've got a load of lino which has been laid down over the years on top of here. And you can see underneath the stones carry through. So the plan is to have carpet up to this point here and then down here and up to the door will then be these lovely stones which are going to get polished and cleaned up and restore them to their former glory. So. We're going to lift it now and see what's underneath. So let's just get on with it. Let's just get on with it, shall we? I'm just going to stand here with the camera and watch you two do it. The grand reveal. Oh, I think we should keep that stuff down. Look at that. That's classy. When do you reckon that's from, Phil? 80s? 70s. 70s? Any advance in the 70s? Oh, I know why it's the 70s. It's a it's say manufactured in the 1970s, isn't it? Nice, but it's good down with um... cardboard. Hessian. Uh, further on, I know for a fact. It's been stuck down with um, black tar. Ah, right. Beautiful, look at those. So far, so good. So any damaged ones like this, we're actually going to use the ones from over there in that area that are good and then pull them over to here to replace in here. So this, this floor will be fully restored. Obviously because there's carpet going over there, we're not going to need those ones in there so we can use those, the good ones in here. Make this look amazing. So we've stripped all the various layers of lino up off the floor, give it a good scrape and swept it up and then Phil's had a quick attack with the, uh, the sander and this is what they're going to look like. Really, really nice. These will restore back up nicely. But once they're all sanded down and ground down, we'll then get some cedar on them to bring up the natural colour. There's a couple that are broken. One there, one there, one there. I think there's about five in total across the whole floor. So we can soon replace those with the ones over there and restore it to its former glory. So we are in the entrance hallway and Phil has been working hard on a masterpiece as usual. He has basically redesigned the surround or the architrave for the front door. Yeah, so basically all we've done is when we came to the job there was a very small architrave that went round this door. Right. Probably installed in the 1980s but it was disproportional to the doorway. So we've gone with something a little bit more ornate and we're following the detail from the other architraves in the hallway. Yeah. So we'll have a bead, a bead detail that follows around all the way around the door like this and we're simply going to do that by using 10 millimeter and dowling. Cool. So that'll just run around all the inside of here, will it? Yeah? All the inside and then there'll be another nice detail on this crossbar to bring this outer architrave in. And then there'll be some ornate detail in the two panels above the doorway. In the two triangular pieces up yeah. here, yeah. yeah. Looks a lot better than the old stuff on there, doesn't it? Maybe more, more of a substantial looking doorway. Really. Awesome. The grand entrance.
So, we're in the morning room, which is coming along very nicely. Roy is in here at the minute, getting all the decorating done. Doing an awesome job, as always, with that lovely green colour on the walls. Clients are also going to go for this wallpaper as well, which is awesome. Uh, right, so the reason I'm in here is to show you this. So this will be a Juliet balcony. These French doors are needed the glass replacing at the top. There was a, like a Louvre vent here, some Louvre glass vents, uh, which were a bit unsightly, so they're being changed. What we have found in the basement are these. So some stained glass windows, which are very nice, and the green also matches pretty closely to the green that's in the room. So. What we're doing is modifying, well we've modified the window, well Ollie has modified the actual frame itself, put additional beading in just to make sure it all fits perfectly. And then what we're gonna do is modify these to actually fit in the holes. So it'll be a really nice feature in here. It'll go really well with the color scheme in the room as well. It does mean there's a little bit of modification to do to these, uh, these stained glass panels. You can see that Ollie's actually cut these end pieces off already and removed some of the glass from here. And the glass section that's in there is actually gonna be cut down so it'll fit in there. We do have another piece like this as well, but it's actually gonna lead a lot more modification. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna nip downstairs to where the magic is happening and show you exactly what Ollie's gonna to do to make it fit in that hole. So what we need to do, well, what Ollie needs to do is modify this section under here to be the same width as this, so it will fit nicely into the frame. So you can see the pattern's slightly different. This one is actually wider than the ones up there. So what you're gonna have to do to modify this then, Ollie? So I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna move this two um, yellow pieces here in there, so it's follow that. Yeah. Then move up the lead, obviously, across there, and then move the blue around and the white around, so it'll be like yellow, blue, and white. Like, this. Awesome, so matching with everything that's up there. So that is it. If you've enjoyed this, as always, please like, comment, and subscribe. You've been watching me, John, and the guys from Build With A&E. Until next time, stay safe.